All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to export and stem out your track stacks in Logic Pro. If you've ever tried to stem out track stacks in Logic Pro in the past, you probably came into some frustration because not all of the effects that you put on the sounds were included in your stem out or printed into the audio file. In this one, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to go around that, some fixes. It's not really a fix because this isn't a bug, it's by design the way track stacks are set up but I'll show you ways to go about printing all of those effects into your stems. So here is our logic session over here. We have a track stack over here with three tracks within that track stack. Now, if I went ahead and exported these three tracks as stems, I would just select each track. I'd go to file, export, three tracks as audio files. All works, it's fine, except the one problem is any effects that I have on my track stack will not be included and printed into those audio files. And once again, that is by design. When you export a track in Logic or any DAW, it takes a look at what's happening on that track, all the effects, and prints just that. Any effects that's on your master output is not included in the stem out, so it makes sense. Whatever's happening on that track, that is the track and that is the audio that gets stemmed out. When working with track stacks, there are a couple of ways you could approach it. One of them being is if you are using track stacks, maybe you're using it to group one type of instrument to make it sound like one cohesive unit. If that's the case, there's no additional work required to export a stem. All you gotta do is instead of selecting the individual tracks, just select the track stack itself. Here it is right here. So you select the track stack itself, hit Command E or File Export and click Export. Now the file that we get is this right over here. All those track with all the effects in play. So if you're approaching a track stack as one cohesive instrument that should sound like one thing, then when you're stemming out, don't select the individual tracks, select just the track stack itself and export that way. But a lot of the cases, we don't treat track stacks like that. We sort of combine them with multiple melodies, multiple drums, whatever it may be. And we wanna export each individual one of these tracks with the effects that are on our track stack as well. Here's some of the work that's required. First way to go about it is you can actually bounce your session as you normally would as a master file. But in this case, we're gonna bounce it just as a stem to include all of the effects in the chain. So first thing you wanna do is just select the cycle range because we're bouncing this out. And then we're gonna go ahead and solo out the track that we want. So let's say we're gonna stem out each one of these tracks. I'm gonna solo out the first of three. I'm gonna to go to Command B, which is bounce, or you can find that file, bounce, project or section, and then bounce out that way. Now keep in mind, if you are gonna do this approach, it will include any effects that are happening on your master out which I wouldn't recommend keeping on a stem. I would bypass that first and then do it this way. Or another way to go about it is we can go ahead and export the stem one by one as we would with a bounce. So we would just, same concept, we would solo out the track stack, solo out the track that we want, select the track stack track this time, go Command E to export and then stem out. And then we get this file right over here. Right? And then we would repeat the process. So we would unsolo that, solo our second track in our track stack, make sure our track stack track is selected, Command E, export that one, repeat the process, and so on and so forth for each one of the tracks in your track stack. This way we don't have to worry about what's happening on the master out, and we're just stemming them out one by one. It is a little tedious depending on how many tracks you have, but in my experience, this is the best way to go about it without moving around or bypassing any plugins. There is a third way to go about it. I don't recommend it, uh, but I wanna show it to you anyways in case you just have a couple tracks and a couple plugins on your track stack. So if I hit X on my keyboard, I can go ahead and copy over the plugins from my track stack to the individual tracks within that track stack. How many times did I say track stack in this video? All right, so if I take this plugin right here, hover over it, hold down the option key on my keyboard, click and drag, I can actually copy over an instance of that exact setting 
uh, for that plugin. So right, so I can do it to each one of those track stacks right there. And I will bypass this one just to show you. So now I get an instance of that halftime on each one of these tracks. And then I could go ahead and just stem out my tracks that way without the need to do it one by one. Hit Command E and track it out that way. Now this is not recommended because in this case I only have one plugin, but sometimes there's more. There's a lot of tracks in the track stacks and this could get tedious as well. So it's really just to figure out what's easiest for you and your setup and your session. Hopefully that answers the question for you. Been getting this question recently in my inbox. There it is. Let me know if you have any other ways to go about exporting your track stacks. I'd be interested and curious myself if you have a better way. But other than that, if you do have any questions on this, we can go and talk in the comment section below. And as usual, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. I'll see you on the next one. Later. Peace.